Creo Parametric 7.0 added a bunch more information tools for drawings. Let's take a look at them. First off, I've got a drawing open. If I hover my mouse over a view and leave it, I'm going to get a tooltip that is giving me some information. I can configure what information is in the tooltip. If I go to File, Options, here we have Detailing, and we have the checkbox to display drawing view tooltips. Then you can click the Views Tooltips Configuration button to specify what you want in there. So I will check everything in here. You can see that we have view type, name, model, scale, combined state, explode state, and simplified representation. I will click the OK button. There's also this other control for sorting views on the drawing tree. The default is do not sort. You can also choose to sort by view models, by parent views, or by both view models and parent views. I'm not going to change this now because I'm going to show you later on where you can also access this control. Let's click the OK button. I'm prompted to save this in my configuration file. I'm not going to at this time, but now when I hover over here, you can see that we have the additional information for the scale and also the simplified rep for the various different views. Next, let's take a look at the new view summary. You can also select a view and then right mouse click and there's this additional option for summary for view. You get a dialog box that tells you essentially what you have in the tooltip. We have our view type, name, model, scale, and simplified representation. You can also get to that from the drawing tree. Right click on a view in the drawing tree and then choose summary for view. And there we have again the type, this is a detailed view, name, model, scale, and simplified representation. Let's close out of here and take a look at some of the other additional controls for the drawing tree. You now have the ability to configure columns in the drawing tree. Go to the settings drop down and then choose tree columns. Here we have view info. Right now we just have the one column for the drawing tree. We can add in here, hey, maybe I want to have the view model displayed as well and the scale. Let's click the OK button. And so there you see the additional columns in here. Also for a view, you can select a view, right click on it and choose child views. And here it tells us the different views. If you want to see what those views are, you can just click on them in the list. And you can see that they're highlighting on the screen. Let's close out of there. I can also do it from a view. Let me hold down the right mouse button and then choose child views. We can see that there is just one child view over here, a detailed view. Let's close this one. And the very last thing to show you in here is that thing that I mentioned about being able to sort your different views. If you go to this drop down list for show, here we have sort tree and I can choose to sort by view models. And there you can see that, okay, here are the views that are associated with this model. Here are the views that are associated with this other model. Let's go back over here and I'm going to uncheck by view models and then let's sort tree by parent views. And that way we can see, okay, here we have a front view and there are the different views that are child views of this one. These two views don't have any children, but this one does. You can see it over here. Let's turn on both of the options. I'll go to the show drop down, then sort tree, and let's also check by view models. So here you see that first they're by model, and then they are by parent views. So those are some of the other additional information tools that you have available in drawing mode in Creo Parametric 7.0. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.